So, having short hair after so many years of rocking long hair is definitely a big change and I gotta say, um, first off, it's refreshing. Um, I don't know, it feels like the heat is not that much of a problem anymore, uh, styling it is not a problem and particularly drying it, drying it off is not a problem anymore. So it's basically easier to be always clean at, at your uh, in your top conditions. Now today some of the things that we will check is how I look with certain um, armors and sets and looks and particularly the specific characters that I was playing on my channel. So we will see Dr. Raff and how whether he has gained or lost with this hairstyle. Uh, personally I think he has gained quite a lot. With a Roman look as we could see at the beginning I think it's definitely a plus. Uh, I think I look a lot better as a Roman. I could avoid the fringe for example and just get it on the sides. Now I'm using some gel. Uh, I could not do that and see for go for a more natural look for example. There are a few things that can be done and I think that I will choose depending on what character I am reenacting. But for the everyday me, as, as I told you, I really like button-down shirts and I think that for this, for a formal uh, look, it's better for me as a teacher as well. When I go to school and I teach, now I, I sort of feel more at ease if that makes sense. I'm sure that some of you can relate. So what about the beard? Am I going to keep it? Am I going to shave it? Well, for now I've decided to keep it. Go for a short beard, well trimmed, and because I think it's good. You know, beard is a masculinity enhancer, if you will. Personally, I think that a short beard with short hair is a sexy look. Um, already, uh, because of the haircut, I've lost like, what, five years? I already look a lot younger. So if I, if I go for clean shaven, I'll look like I'm 25 again. I, I'm sure of that. So um, for now, I decided to keep the beard. I might try and let it grow a bit more and see if I like that. Uh, I won't go for a long beard because I don't like those. Uh, but I could try and, you know, wait for, for maybe a couple of weeks without shaving. I could do that and then I, I'll make my mind. I don't think I want to go for clean shaven for now. I might try it later on to see how younger like and, yeah, I could do that and then start asking people on the streets how old do you think I am I could even make a video about that 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 could be quite funny but for now the idea is keeping a short beard and trim it every once in a while shave a little bit the sides and and the bottom uh, I think that's the cleanest and best look So why did I go for this specific length of hair and this spe specific style? Well, when I went to the barber, as you know, normally hair stylists, they ask you, so what are you looking for? What sort of haircut do you want? And, you know, a lot of people, normal clients, normally bring a picture, for example, of a famous actor, whether it be Tom Cruise or whatever, and perhaps, you know, David Beckham. In my case, I brought pictures of iconography, Roman iconography, particularly speaking about statues representing Emperor Octavianus Augustus. I know, that's a little strange, a little odd, but very much Metatron-like. So the reason for that is that I decided since I was giving up on this samurai look with the pony ponytail, uh, which of course I can't do anymore, I decided to fully commit on the Roman look, so when I re whenever I reenact a Roman soldier, I can have a haircut which makes sense from that point of view. In fact, I chose for a medium fringe uh, with some hair on the sides and not too short on the back. And this is what we typically see in Roman iconography. So we can say that this haircut is loosely based on that of a Roman emperor. But why choosing a Roman emperor? Am I reenacting an emperor? No. But emperors in ancient Rome, just as much as generals, they were the ones who were sort of creating the fashion, creating the trend, and they were very much emulated and, and, uh, and followed by the legionaries and also everyday people. So it would very very much makes sense that a Roman legionary would uh, sort of imitate a Roman emperor or his general and cut his hair accordingly. For the beard, I've already made a video on whether Roman soldiers had a beard or not. Some didn't, some did. We have iconography for both. So I can go both clean shaven or short beard. They would both be historically accurate. I'm really looking forward to make new footage in photography. And because we're going to make some footage for the documentary uh, that I'm making for Patreon. And thanks to Patreon supporters and always thank you. And, and now it's going to be so easy to wear Lorica Hamata, which was a massive problem with long hair because my hair would always get caught in between the rings.
All right, noble ones. Well, thank you very much for watching this unusual video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. And don't forget to click the notification bell to always receive new content. But let me know, what do you think of this new look? Do you think that I look handsome or do you think that I should go hide myself in a dank and miserable cave? But let me know in the comments below. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Roma Invicta.